My name's Alistair Quinnell. I come from Portman. And what do you do? And what have you done? What do I what, what do? I do? What have I done? I'm a member of the St. Trustee of St. Perrin's Committee. Um, oh my goodness. Gore were, South Council. Were you ever a member of Cornwall County Council? I was a member of Cornwall County Council oh. for 25 years. Yeah. Yes. And during that time, I chaired the Economic Development European Committee. And that was about the time when we were getting uh, nuts two status, weren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Well, objective one. Yes. And you were the chairman then. Yeah. So you've had a profound influence on the way in which well, Cornwall has evolved. Well, the effect of it, I think, has been less than what it should have been. Yeah. I we'll come my, to that. My, in my, a my feeling is objective one funding has been spent in the way that it should have been. Yeah. It's gone in, more gone in administration than actual production. Right. Now tell me, thinking now about today, how do you think that Cornwall is? How do you feel that Cornwall is at the moment? I think that Cornwall at the moment is basically in a fairly static position. I think it, it's seen the world around it change. There's a concern that some of those changes could be disadvantageous to Cornwall. And I think it's very crucial that we look at ourselves, and not just look and respect communities for what they are and the future that they want to have. And it's not just about us as an older generation, but the future of the young generation as well. And do you think the young have got more opportunities now than they had, say, when you were the chairman of the Economic Development Committee? I wouldn't like to say so. I, mean, I think the problem is what we've got, we've got an increase in population aging. But the younger people in particular, and maybe economies are, are changing in that sort of way, but uh, are not practically involved on things. Young people today, there's high tech, something to do, look at facially or something to the ears. And in terms of learning manual skills, which are quite important, whether, whether it's electrical or mechanics or whatever it is, they're not doing it. And I, I think that's, that can be a very, very worrying factor for the future. And do you think, how do you feel about the environment, the, the, you know, the natural world and, and so on? Do you feel that that's in a stronger position than it was? The natural world, with population growth, the natural world, I think, is under pressure, I think, probably in Cornwall. Except for large cats up Bodmin, of course. <laughs> yes. A lot of large cats up there, all right. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I think that the environment is under pressure. Also, the increased house building, that type of thing. Uh, the increased demand of populations going up, the increased demand on food production. And I think if we look back on the, a miserable, pretty t bad time, which was the Second World War, mm -hmm. we had to be capable of providing all our own food, because at that time, German submarines could cut us off our mm -hmm. supply lines. If that situation came back again, mm -hmm. being cut off, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have the land available to, 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 to uh, pr provide the food for the people who are living there. And do you think that, that the combined factors of climate change on the one hand, because it's in climatic terms very polluting to be importing goods and food, and on the other hand that, um, that Brexit uh, and all the trade, trade agreements that may or may not be developed as a result but are likely to affect what we can and can't import, do you think that, that that is likely to be having an effect on what we produce at home and in particular around how we use land because of the need to produce more food? Do you think there might be a change in that regard? Well, I think there, there, there could be that case. I mean, as far as Brexit's concerned, my position is quite clear on it. I voted to stay in. Um, Right, re reorganisation was necessary, still is necessary. But once you isol isolate yourself from a community, whether it's an international community or whether it's your own family, then you have real problems to sort out and you've got no one else to turn to. And I think that... Um, I don't know. I, I, I think it depends whose hands you fall into. An increase in population, a diminishing economy, and those are the pressures that are going to come up. Mm. Much goes back from the past when, uh, certainly when times of Margaret Thatcher, mm. when 
industry as such was wiped out. Shipbuilding on the Clyde, all those sort of things, Coventry, everything else. But production and export, that sort of thing has, has sort of gone. So I think there's a big question over that. Mm.